Good morning. Hi, welcome back to Create Care Inspire Podcast. This is episode 375, and we are here in my studio in Southwest Florida. It has been a crazy morning so far. Woke up to, and no, I woke up before the sunrise, but when I left to take Marlon to tennis, there was an incredible sunrise with bright orange and some blue and some purple it was amazing so i took a photo and if you follow me on other social media channels i shared the photo on facebook and instagram this morning but then i got on my bike to go to the beach and it was major thunder and lightning lots of rain and so turned around and came home so now we're in my studio and it is raining pretty hard out there if you're joining me live please say hello let me know if you're crafting this morning ask me any questions you might have if i can answer them i will and uh thanks christy thanks lisa yes this is the uh mesh berry top and i'm wearing it belted this is my favorite way to wear this top i in fact there's a couple of things that I really like about the way I styled it today. I prefer to do dark blue on blue. These jeans are a little light for this outfit in my opinion. I prefer to go navy blue tank top, dark denim jeans, and wear the top belted. I feel like belting it just gives me a little more waist definition. You can see from front to back. I feel like it gives me a little more waist definition. Although if you wanted to wear it long and loose, like this. This looks really cute over leggings as well. And I would still go monochromatic with the uh, underlayer to match your leggings or your jeans. But I've seen people wear it all sorts of ways and it's something that you could easily make into a beach cover up or a dress by just continuing with the length. It's wide enough because of the length that it is already it's already wide enough to go over your hips so if you added length to it at this point it would be no problem at all without needing any additional shaping this is called the mesh berry top it is a free pattern on my website it is also uh, it also has a video series here on youtube on my channel and it uses be so fine yarn which is 100 percent bamboo number one fingering weight and you can find that on my website Hi Beatrice, hi Jill, hi Grace. Thanks for joining live everybody. I missed a bunch of names. I've got, I'm using an iPad for this morning to try to get a better or bigger picture of my studio and instead of my phone. And in order to do that, uh, well, I think I turned the camera around. So the camera's on this side and your comments are down there. Hi Faye. Uh, yes, there's yarn in the bag. I'm gonna show you the new colors of Be So Lush yarn today and give you an update on my baby blanket. Yeah, so I've got to read the comments down there, but talk into the camera here. So let's see if I do that all right today. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Oh, Faye's headed home. Well, have a safe trip home, Faye. Oh, thank you, Jill. Yeah, studio lighting helps, doesn't it? <laughs> let's see, who's first time's it here? Melanie, thanks for joining live. Melanie, glad you could be here. All right, so there's actually some things that I can show you in my studio this morning too, which is kind of exciting because there are things that have been secrets for many, many months, especially since the last time uh, we were in my studio. I have a hanging garment rack over here full of beautiful garments, and you know most of them now because I've released almost all of the patterns for Layers Knit and Layers Crochet. So let's see if I can scoot the camera around so you can see it because I think that's kind of exciting ah, and I'm tethered let's see bear with me so here's my garment rack and so how I organize things when I'm writing a book is I have a method for where they go on the garment rack and also depending on the type of piece. So the pieces down here are the little things like the cowls and some of the shawls and some of the scarves and the headbands and the hats, the things and uh, there's things that I don't put on the hangers. So they go in this little cubby thing here and um, you can find this on my Amazon shop. I do love these for organizing in my office as well. So then I have garments over here that have not yet been been released 
These and these over here are all projects that you have already seen. So these are all the patterns that have been released. Oh, no, there's one over here that hasn't been released. Any, or no, there's three. <laughs> it's not as organized as it should be. So this, uh, Becky, this is your first time live too. Wonderful, thanks for joining live. So there's a little bit, it's not as organized as I was like would like it to be. But again, we didn't plan on coming in here today either. So then behind me, I've got a few projects and some of these are pieces from Layers Knit and Layers Crochet as well. This tank top is from Layers Crochet. This necklace is from Layers Knit. And this shrug is from Layers Crochet. And then if you look over here, this, this magazine rack here is completely filled with books that I've written. So you, I have the Create, Share, Inspire books down here, 80 Handmade Gifts, Motif Magic is missing right now. But then I have Continuous Crochet, Seamless Crochet, Crochet So Fine, The Finer Edge. I'm sure a lot of you already know and own these books. Knitting Outside the Swatch, Crochet So Lovely, A Knitting Rhapsody, Wrapped in Crochet, A Knitter's Guide to Knitting in the Round. And then I have two kits here. I taught myself to knit 18 inch doll clothes. There is a crochet counterpart to this too, but I don't see it here. I wonder if that's all of them. I feel like there's some things missing. Definitely Motif Magic is missing. And then I have a couple of the Create, Share, Inspire notebooks up here. And the rest of them are on a bookshelf behind the camera over there. And then I keep a lot of my photography and studio lighting equipment in that corner over there. But does anybody have any questions for me before I show you anything else? And I'm gonna try to turn the camera around here. Give me one second. Oh, orientation is locked, that won't work. Okay, we tried. Hi Maria, thanks for joining live. Uh, someone says they don't have an answer to their question. If you want to repeat your question, go for it. If I can answer it, I will. Just thought it was fun to show you a little bit of my office or my studio before we get moving. And I'll wait and see if there's any questions. Good morning, Kay Beach. Thanks for joining live. Lily, new pattern for Layers Crochet. Which one? Which one are you asking about? You're asking, ow, oh, I just ran over my toe. <laughs> mm. I'm guessing you're asking about this one. Oh, thanks, Jill. Oh my God, that hurt. <laughs> yes, this is one of the newest patterns from Layers Crochet. And this one's done in Be So Lush yarn, which is a great segue to show you the new colors in Be So Lush yarn this morning. So remember I showed you colors for Be So Bold yarn this week. Well, I have I dyed those same colors in Be So Lush yarn. So we've got Backyard Bougainvillea, so beautiful, and Pineapple Revival, and Twilight Peacock, and Enchanting Jasmine. And I'm gonna open these up so you can see more of the color change. So we've got in the Backyard Bougainvillea, good morning, Kimberly. We've got a peach, a coral, a hot pink. Uh, Christine, I don't know how many yards this top make, uh, takes depending on what size you're looking to make. So if you go to the free pattern page on my website, for the mesh berry top, it'll show you how many yards you need for whichever size you're looking to make. It comes in multiple sizes too. So back to Backyard Bougainvillea, we've got a peach, a coral, a hot pink, and a berry. So beautiful, I love this colorway. And then the next one is Pineapple Revival, and I dyed this one because I'm trying to replant a pineapple top from buying a pineapple at the store. 
I've also been experimenting with, you know, that viral video that's been going around where if you uh, hit a pineapple, you should be able to pull the pieces off without having to peel it. Well, I tried that and it kind of worked, but I hit it too hard. So the next time I do it, I might even go live to show you how to do it. It was really cool. But anyway, after that, I um, cut the top off and I'm trying to sprout roots on it because I'd like to grow a pineapple plant in my backyard. So anyway, this colorway is inspired by my pineapple plant. So we've got a really beautiful golden yellow and a couple of different bright greens. Yes, I got crushed pineapple instead and uh, it was delicious and it still made incredible pineapple tomatillo salsa. So all was, all was not lost. And then here is Twilight Peacock we've got a bright vibrant blue some bronze and some green and some turquoise really beautiful jill's grown celery and romaine that's awesome thanks lisa and then here's enchanting jasmine and these colors look actually really pretty together if you're looking to do any color work And so just to give you an idea of what you could make with these, this top is made with these, but these are all number one fingering weight yarns. And so if you wanted to just organize the, or, you know, pay attention to the yardage for whatever size you're making on your project, any of my Be So Fine patterns would work with Be So Lush too. So you could do Be So Lush for the sweet, um, sorry, not the sweet, the um, meshberry top that I'm wearing or any of my Be So Fine patterns. So anything that's a fingering weight pattern, you could probably easily substitute the Be So Lush yarn for that. So this is a project with this yarn and then I have another one from Layers Knit. This beautiful wrap is also made in Be So Lush yarn. This is the one where we've got that little tab on it so that you can get See, did I put this on right? No, I think I didn't put it on right. Try it on this side. Yeah, it goes on this side, I think. So you, did I do it right? No, it goes on this shoulder. See, it's so hard to try things on in front of, without a mirror. <laughs> yeah, there we go, I've got it on right now. So you've got this tab here, and what's awesome about that is that you can take this side and pull it through this side and not need any type of closure. And because of the yarn's beautiful drapiness, this would work with Be So Fine yarn as well, the yarn that this top's made in. The drapiness of the yarn allows for this draping effect to go across your shoulders too. I just love this look. I love how it can be open and stretched across your shoulder and then come gathered through the tab and just flow across. Isn't that cool? You could do this in crochet off also, obviously. You would just wanna make a tab like that and place it on one side of the shawl. The um, schematic in the pattern shows you the exact placement where you'd wanna put that so that it will do that type of styling. Does anybody have any other questions? And there's other patterns for Be So Lush yarn too. If you go to my free pattern directory, you can look at patterns by number one fingering weight yarn, Be So Lush yarn, or Be So Fine yarn. There's a bunch of ways you could look for patterns to uh, make these yarns, to make with these yarns. Yeah, so if you go to my free pattern directory, and if you don't know where that is on my website, there's a link to all sorts of good information in the video description of this video and all my videos. So if you, and if you still need help finding something, just leave me a comment. Yes, Lisa, it is buttery soft. Uh, yes, this has been released. It was in this week's um, release for uh, uh, Layers Crochet. Two patterns were released this week, and this was one of them, I think. If not, it's this coming week, then I don't remember now. Maybe it's not out. Maybe it comes this week. No, it wasn't this week. Okay, well, you're getting a sneak peek then. This is one coming next week. <laughs> See, I wasn't planning on being in my studio this morning. Can you tell? I truly was planning on going to the beach. So there's a sneak peek of a pattern coming this week. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, Jill, it's not out yet. <laughs> it's going to be in this week's release of Layers Crochet. Whoopsie. <laughs> That's the beauty of live, right? Isn't that funny? Uh, I came in, I, it's so dark outside. Couldn't even, so my backup plan usually is if the beach doesn't work because of being rained out, would go to my backyard, right? In my um, patio. It's way too dark outside for that because of the storm. So I came in here not planning to come in here, so I still have things set up for photos. Yeah, I gave you something to look forward to, Jill. Plus, I just love the element of surprise in live. I think it's so funny. <laughs> no, yep, I thanks, Christine. No, it didn't come out this week. It'll be out next week. I'm juggling 18 projects in layers crochet and 18 projects in layers knit all at the same time. And man, is it uh, quite a challenge for my brain, but I'm loving every second of it. And uh, apparently this morning, I forgot which one was released. So this will be a new pattern next week. This one also is a great candidate for being belted. It has a trapeze shape or like an a-line shape and that's a really great candidate for belting a tank top too and something that you could easily make longer for making a uh, dress or a cover-up uh, christine has dark storms where she's at too yeah you would i would definitely need to still use my headlights to go outside and it's what eight ish yeah it's eight o'clock All right, well, if no more questions on that, then we'll move forward. I wanted to show you an update on my blanket I've been working on. So I've made it a little further. I'm starting my second series of the same six colors. So if you, let's see, oh, let's get this right. Okay, so I started with violet at the bottom and then I went to splash, turquoise, buttercup, peach and orchid and now i'm on my second series of the colors i'm at violet splash and turquoise and if you notice i've done a staggering in the stripes to make the stripes a little more subtle instead of being hard stripes i um, alternated the two colors at the changes so that the striping is a little more subtle and gives you more of a you know more of a gradient than a solid stripe which i think is so interesting and it's a chevron done on a base of granny stitch which i think you're going to love to make uh, this pattern will be out soon and right now i'm guessing it's going to be two to three balls of all six of the colors and then i'll make some and then i've already made a hat for it and then i'll make some booties for it It'd be so adorable Thanks, Melissa. I'm very happy with the effect that it's created too. Very much so. Does anybody have any? And I'm using a size four millimeter crochet hook. This is one of the pretty hooks that I sell in the Be So Sweet crochet hook set. And this is the size four millimeter. That's what I'm using for the blanket. It's giving a nice solid stitch in the DK weight yarn, which for baby blanket, I think you like, I, I like to have something that's a little more solid. Thanks, Lisa. I'm glad you like the hooks. Me too. They're so cheerful to look at. Oh, have you seen this? I have a little crown on my desk. Isn't that adorable? I waited till it went on sale at a store and I got it like an Instagram feed, you know, like an ad. I was like, yes, I want a crown for my desk. <laughs> and then it went on sale for like, I don't know, $12. And I was like, yes, I definitely need a gold crown for my desk. Thanks, Sherry. Does anybody have any other questions or I want to see anything behind me? Hi, Sherry. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Lisa. Every queen needs a crown at her desk, right? <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Thanks for joining live. Yes, Lily, I absolutely love the blanket too. It'd be so cute to cover baby with that blanket. What's more cheerful than uh, rainbow? I mean, I love rainbow. 
but yesterday I heard a lot of people saying that they would like an adult size afghan in those colors and I agree I would love that as a throw on my bed or on the couch um, Sharon will one be so fine tidbit make the t-shirt I'm guessing you mean the t-shirt where we cut the t-shirt we just did the yoke yes if you watch the video or read the pattern it does state that it's only uh, one that you use less than one tidbit to do it that is correct it feels like I'm sitting too low or maybe my seats come down I don't know who will sit who knows hi Judy all right let's see what else do I have in my bags this morning oh I have a notebook Lisa needs to order more yarn for the baby blanket. Yes, can I show you the tank top? Uh, well, I've shown you this one and I've shown you this one already. I'm guessing you want to see this one a little bit more. It's an A-line tank top and it'll be available in this coming week's uh, releases in the Layers Crochet eBook. It's done in um, Be So Lush yarn and it comes in multiple sizes. And there'll be more information when the book comes out. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, you're gonna love it, Sherry. I love it too. Jill's getting a yarn order this week. Yay! Oh, D, my toe is throbbing, but I'll be okay. Thanks. <laughs> Does anybody want to see any of these colors together? I could pull these together if anybody wants to see them together. Oh, Sherry's going to use Shisugi Bond for the tank top. That'll be pretty. Yes, so it uses Be So Lush, but you could easily uh, substitute Be So Fine yarn for it too. Uh, they're both number one fingering weight. This is a blend of organic cotton and bamboo, and Be So Fine is 100% bamboo. Um, they're easy to interchange for patterns, so if you like one yarn over the other, or you like a color of one over the other, you could easily uh, substitute either of the yarns. Marnie, oh, Marnie likes this top. Yep, this is the mesh berry top. You can find that pattern on my website. It has videos and pattern and charts. Um, the vest I made last week, did I release the pattern yet? Kelly, I don't know which one you're talking about. I wish I did. Maybe if you could give me another hint, maybe color or something. Joe wants the Bougainvillea colorway. Me too. Uh, it's selling pretty, rather quickly, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep one before it's gone, which means I'm going to have to dye it again. I think that this is, uh, this is just one of the prettiest colorways in the whole world, in my opinion. I love it so much. Um, the grayish one possible to see the Brianna top. I don't recall which one is the Brianna top off the top of my head. Uh, the gray tank top or the gray vest was released last week. I don't believe Brianna was, yeah, Astral, this one's Astral. I don't believe Brianna was a top. Um, so if you can give me a better idea, this is the Astral vest. I can try it on. Do I have a shawl pin in here? Let's see. I mean, I wouldn't wear a knit over a knit, so. But let's pretend like this is a shawl pin. This is a great one for a shawl pin. So you, would, you could put a shawl pin right there, which brings the two sets of the floral collar together. Or you could even try belting it. Let's try the belt, too. I, it looks great unbelted, too. Don't get me wrong. I like it just like this. I, I could wear it like this any day of the week. But you know, it's fun to change things up, so it's fun to see how they look in different ways. Um, yeah, oh, if let's say you were wearing black stri black leggings and a black tank top, that could actually, with high heels, that could actually be kind of dressy. You could even maybe wrap it a little bit and then blouse it up. Yeah, I think you could make that kind of dressy actually. But anyway, this can be worn in a bunch of different ways from casual to dressy. I love, love, love the floral collar on it. This comes in a bunch of sizes and this is 
um, Be So Sporty Yarn colorway Ice Silver Fox. I've got a bunch of colors of Be So Sporty Yarn. We talked about the different colors of Be So Sporty last week. Uh, someone was asking what size I make. I'm pretty sure that I mentioned in the pattern which size I made, so you'll just have to look at the pattern. But I believe it came in a 38. I believe I made it in a 38. I usually either, if, if the pattern is a 36, I usually make the 36, and if it's a 38, I make the 38. So I, I always, I like things tight, so I always make things on the smaller side to begin with. Sanchelle loves the purple behind me. Oh yeah, the Jillian Shrug. This is a great piece. That one's in layers crochet too. Does the silver look gray? Um, it's a very light silver. Is that what you mean? And I don't think I have that color in stock right now either, unfortunately. Um, Lydia's working on the Mary and the Claire. All right, well, we're almost out of time. So let's go to the Create, Share, Inspire notebook. This is volume one, issue two. And let's go to the next page and read another quote. Ooh, this one's from Benjamin Franklin. Write your injuries in dust and your benefits in marble. I love this one. Focus on the good and the good gets better, right? So yes, we have injuries. Yes, we have things that make us sad. If you need to discuss it or write them down or whatever, do it in a temporary fashion and do your positives in a permanent fashion so that you can continually try to focus on the good. We can't 100% focus on the good, right? Bad things happen. We have to accept them in order to move on. But try to keep your focus as temporarily as possible on the negative and try to keep your focus as permanently as possible on the good, right? And it's so it's not 100%, it's about keeping that, just keeping the focused more heavily on the positive than the negative because you can't remove the negative from your life. And I think that's something that we often miss in trying to be more positive is that we try to remove stuff, we try to go extreme, and it doesn't work that way. You're always going to find negative stuff. So let's read this again. Benjamin Franklin, write your injuries in dust and your benefits in marble. Yes, just try as much as possible to focus more on the good than the bad. That's it. And anytime you can make that shift so that it's heavier on one side, that's the side that will grow. So when you focus on the good, the good gets better. Love it. Does anybody have any questions about that or anything else? Yeah, Jill, accentuate the positive. Absolutely. Oh, thanks for the reminder, Grace. Yes, if you like the podcast, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification button so you can be notified anytime I go live. If you check out the video description below, I share lots of the playlists that I have here on YouTube. I have thousands of YouTube videos on tutorials and all sorts of fun things and also links to my website and where you can find me in other social media channels. And if you still have questions, please always feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the show and tell, chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully at the beach. <laughs>